reading chapter 1086. I can't do it. I can't do it for much longer. All right. Reading chapter 1086 of One Piece. And look at that cover. Huh. Garp, Kobe, Luffy. Is this the first time that they've meant that they like, I mean, not Luffy, obviously, but someone's got to tell me when else has Garp and Kobe made it to the cover of Shonen Jump? I need to know. That's a cool type. That's a cool um, magazine page, though. I would I do like that one a lot. Okay. Oda's notes. Wow, we even get Oda's notes. Usually we don't get these because um, the chapters drop way too early. And so we don't get Oda-san's translated notes. But this time we do. It's funny. I was... Oh my god, I can't read where my glasses. This is going to get even more ridiculous. Look at that. I can fit it. I can wear my glasses on top of this. This is crazy. All right, nice. It's funny, I was wo working behind the scenes on the live action adaptation long before production even began on some of the movies I helped with, like Film Red and Stampede. Oda wow, that is crazy. I had no idea that the live adaptation was, had been going on for that long. Like, the production was in the works for that long. That is insane. And look at that color spread, so sweet. Oh, I'm so glad that we get this just before we go on break. But where is, am I blind? Where is Zoro? I literally just put my glasses on. And Jinbei. Where is Zoro and Jinbei? Huh. No rain, no rainbow. But where is Zoro and where is Jinbei? That's... Oh, Would have been the perfect way to finish, uh, as in like to finish, um... Not finish, but before he goes on break, would have been great to see all of the straw hats in the colour spread. But you know what? That's okay. Um... I guess Zoro got himself lost. And then maybe Jinbei. You know what it was? It's like, um, it's this time they were like, Jinbei, you go after him. <laughs> and then they both got lost. So Jinbei got lost trying to save Zoro, who is naturally lost. Cra cover request by Crazy Doey. Chopper and a kitty crossing the reflection of a rainbow they see in a puddle. How wholesome. I love that. No rain, no rainbow. And oh, we are going back to Lore Piece. Lore Piece, bring it on. Chapter 1086, The Five Elder Planets. And so the curtains drew closed on the reverie. No, I can't do it. And so the curtains drew closed on the reverie before the news of King Cobra's murder came to light. Dun, 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 dun. This is Princess Vivi of Arabasta. Hasn't anyone seen her? Oh no, he thinks he's lost her. Where is that king? Oh, has his condition worsened? This is crazy. Oh no. Yeah, it's been so long. I think because we've known for so long what's happened. I guess like we've been drip fed this information. It's... Like, you forget how much people of Arabasta were in mourning when we first found out that something bad at um, the reverie happened. But, yeah, this is pretty devastating. <laughs> All the while, a number of stowaways held their breath as they attempted to escape on various royal vessels. Oh, uh, hey, whose ship is this? The Aegis King Doms. The Aegis King. There's an Aegis King? What does that even mean? Like, Cypherpole Aegis? We're on Aegis's ship, Morgans. Gotcha. 
We'll fly our headquarters over and pretend to look for a scoop. Use that chance to hop aboard and don't get yourselves caught before then. How did he know? I owe you one. You got that right. A king just somehow became the subject of a manhunt. This is big news. I can't wait to hear all about it. So, what exactly did you see in there, Wapo? Like I tell you, leave me alone and go back to your own ship. Oh, I thought, and here I thought that <laughs> Wapo came with the W, saved Vivi. Look at him. <laughs> I can't. CP0 is no joke. Now that they're after me, it won't matter how much everyone tries to help. Those agents won't rest till I'm back in their custody. Oh, wait, no, this is Vivi. I can't. CP0 is no joke. Now that they're after me, it won't matter how much everyone tries to help. Those agents won't rest till I'm back in their custody. Now let me borrow your transponder snail. I need to talk to... <laughs> I need to talk to my father as soon as possible. He's a total worry ward. Oh no. Oh. <sighs> Anything but that. Get lost already. What's wrong with you? Oh. Oh. That's so that's so messed up. So there's two groups showing around Vivi's photos. But one of them's trying to kill her. <laughs> Look at that. Love eyes. We got another Sanji situation going on. And Sabo on the hunt as well. On the hunt for Sabo. The Tajin Kingdom ship. Oh, we're getting all of these names. The Tajin. Tajin? 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 How do you how are you supposed to pronounce that? The hatch section. Where on earth is the hatch? I need I need to know more about a ship's anatomy. But Jewelry Bonnie, this is how she escaped. I'm hungry. Lelucia Kingdom ship. Bile bilge section. Alright, I've got my glasses on. I still cannot read. You guys, I'm sorry. You guys are gonna have to we're gonna have to blame it on the fact that it is late for me, so I think my eyesight is even worse than usual. And, oh, my internet's frozen. I cannot scroll through the pages. Is that supposed to be Sabo on the... Lu okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Sabo on the Lucia's ship. Um, if I can just make it to Lucia. I know I can figure something out. I'm counting on you, Sabo-kun. Oh. You must live on. Oh, that... Oh, heart wrench. Oh. Oh. It didn't take long for the two key stories to spread across the globe. The murder of King Cobra of Arabasta and the disappearance of his daughter, Princess Vivi. The holy land of Marijua. The man they call Sabo, he seems to have a checkered fate. How else can you account for him constantly being surrounded by those who bear the letter D? I was hoping we would be able to see to the egghead issue now, but it seems that dealing with this complication will have to take priority. Yes, this was some time ago, and this is how we're gonna get back to Saturn making his way to egghead. Bing, bing. Clang! Bitty, 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 bitty. Yes, great, Imu. It's kind of funny that they um that they talk to Ibusan with a transponder snail. I don't know why. Pangea Castle Flower Room. The time has come to put Vegapunk's invention to the test. Use the mother flame. Oh, you know what, guys? I have a great idea. Should have done this, and then it looks like I'm Ibusan. Use the mother flame. What the freak is the mother flame? The mother flame. The source of energy that Vegapunk has been saying that he wants to try out. It is true, we haven't had the chance to try it out before now. So there is no way to ascertain its effectiveness yet. Depending on how well this experiment goes, Egghead may reconsider its response. 
I think a forest area would be a more suitable testing ground than a sea-based target. Lulusia Kingdom. And that. Ah, I see. Oh, no way. Of course. How did we not think of that? Holy crap. So that was the cause of Lulucius. That it was Vegapunk after all. F far out. I was literally saying in a recent video of mine that Imu's powers, like all of their powers, all the powers that we saw in the last chapter, that might actually be the result of Vegapunk's inventions. But I didn't think of it extending to what we saw at Egghead Island. That is, I mean, not at Egghead, at Lulucia Island. Oh, that is absolutely insane. Holy crap. Why Lulucia? Quite a lot of people live there. That is of no consequence. Understood? The world moves at the will of the Creator. What is the reason for Lulucia's selection? It's close prox- Oh shit! That is freaking nuts! No freaking way! What the actual hell, Imu- What the- What the actual freak- What? Genocide? Genocide was committed on a whim. There was no freaking reason. Wow. Holy crap. Wow. It's close proximity. Are you freaking insane? What? I, I cannot believe it. Fuck. It, sh it shall be as you say. And that's it. Look at that. All those people. All that entire island. Genocide. For no reason. But just because Imu was bored. Imu just literally said, I want to try my new toy and I want to play with it now. Mummy, now. Mummy, I'm going to play with it now. What? Oh. Man. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. I will make necessary preparations. I humbly request your patience in the meantime. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh holy shit! We are here. <laughs> okay. Oh, be still, my beating heart. Okay. Five elder planets. Defense science warrior. He's the defense science warrior god. They're all warrior gods. Saint J. Garcia Saturn. Defense science warrior. Seems like, uh, so that's why he's being sent to Egghead because of his scientific connection. Maybe he has a prior relationship with Vegapunk. Lulucia's citizens have shown sparks of rebellion recently. Environmental warrior god, Saint Marcus Mars. So he is Mars. Okay. The warrior god of environment. I wonder what the... Um, what the link there is. Saint Marcus Mark. We may be able to make an example out of them. Look how th so quickly they bend to his will. Justice war. He's the justice. Oh, justice. Justice. Oh. Top man, top man, oh, top man, Valkyrie. What is Valkyrie supposed to be? Venus? 
No. Valkyrie? Is that a name for... Top... Topman. So we've got Mars. We've got Saturn. I'm drawing a blank here. It is way too late for me to be thinking about different planet names. But... If we're saying that... Pluton, Uranus, and... Pluto, Uranus, and Poseidon, which is, why am I, why am I drawing a blank here? P Poseidon, Neptune. So then what are the, what are the three left? There is Venus, there's Jupiter. I am literally Venus, Jupiter, Mars, Saturn. I mean, there's Earth, but it can't be Earth. What is the name? Okay. Why am I why am I being so dumb right now? What is the name of the final of the final planet? Val Oh wait <laughs> Wait, top men Valkyrie, Mercury, Mercury. Alright, my bad, my bad guys. Um Batman's a bit dumb today. If we could one day use this power freely. Finance warrior god. Swordman's the head of finance. Ethan Barron. Ethan Barron. He's a Baron. Venus. Oh, his Venus. Venus Juro. Oh, Juro. So he is Japanese. He is a samurai, like we have been saying. Holy shit. Okay. And finally, we could instantly snuff out any protracted conflict. Oh, look at that scar. That battle scar. And the final one is agriculture this is very interesting so agriculture finance justice environment defense science wow shepherd jupiter jupiter <laughs> that's smart jupiter okay holy crap after how many years shepherd jupiter venus ethan varon venus Topman Valkyrie, St. Marcus Mars, St. Garcia Saturn. Wow. Warrior gods. And they're freaking warrior gods. No wonder we saw them all fight like that. They're freaking warrior gods. Warrior gods. I, I don't think I can stress that enough. Far out. One more thing. Of course. Retrieve Vivi as you wish. <coughs> Meanwhile, the kingdom of Tajin and the Aegis kingdom are both rebelling. Between the disbanding of the seven warlords and the uprisings in government-affiliated nations, the navy had their, has their hands full. However, deploy the seraphim! Crocodile was spot spotted on empty Bluffs Island! The military power had already gone in a new direction. Look at them. Oh, just as we expected. Look at that. The Seraphim Doffy. Some of the artworks that we saw for all of these Seraphims were actually spot on. And someone tell me, why does Crocodile, why does Baby Crocker Boy look so damn cute? I want to adopt him. I want to adopt him. I want... Baby Doffy. I want Seraphim Doffy as a bobblehead for my car. But I want to adopt... Crocodile. He looks so angelic. Does he not look so angelic? He looks almost like Baby Boa. The se oh no, the flashback's already over! The second we docked at Lulucia, the people arrested King Sekai and the Princess Komane. They were, wait they were just waiting to ambush the royals. Since I was a stowaway, they welcomed me with open arms. That's when I saw the papers and found out that they pinned King Cobra's murder on me. Unsurprisingly, the people there considered me a hero. I wanted to tell them the truth, but when I saw how that lie fanned the flames of rebellion within them, the words died in my mouth. <sighs> Betty and the others had already inspired a lot of them, and I ended up bringing many of those hopeful recruits back with me. 
I couldn't make direct contact without an encryption snail, so I rerouted my call through the island while we were setting sail. I love their smarts. You know, yeah, like, you need, you need to know the logistics about this. I work in the telecommunications industry, so that, I do really appreciate that level of detail, having to reroute the calls, like, hide your IP address. He used the VPN. He used the, whatever the snail equivalent of a VPN is. <laughs> I knew the government would intercept the signal, but doing it like that was sure to fool them into thinking I was still on Lulucia. However, I was just within range, having already set out to sea with our new enlistees. So the annihilation of Lulucia really did happen during that call? Yeah, everyone on board was hysterical. A lot of them had family on the island. Oh, yeah, that is freaking rough. The world government just spawned a whole lot of new um, Robins, basically. Just because Imu was bored. Unbelievable. They saw their country obliterated right in front of their eyes. Despicable. How in the world did they do it? An enormous shadow seemed to engulf the sky above us, and the next moment, everything was gone. An enormous shadow? Does, does Dragon know? There's no way it was caused by a living thing or some natural disaster. Something pitch black was flying, flying above the clouds. Sabo, earlier, you said they used the name Imu, right? Oh, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there! <laughs> okay, alright. Okay, calm down, calm down. This may be a little out there, but... When the world we know what today was created 800 years ago, one of the first 20 sovereigns was Saint Imu of House Nerona. House Nerona. Like Corona. Like Verona. Like Italy? Sound Saint Imu of House Nerona. Now look at this. Since we know an ability granting eternal youth is set That is exactly what I said. Exactly what I said. Everyone watch my I don't know what video it was, I think it was two weeks ago, literally said that this is gonna come back up. Was it Lily? Was it Lily who used it? Since we know an ability granting eternal youth is said to exist, that must mean someone has used it before, right? Which means there is a person out there that doesn't need to worry about death. Huh? So, you think the one I saw is... It could be a coincidence, maybe they just share the same name, but... Could anyone else but a founder command the five elder planets? The highest of world nobles? The celestial dragons fancy themselves the descendants of the gods after all. One more thing. Assuming the object you saw above the clouds was a weapon made by the government, then the only one capable of creating such a thing would be Vegapunk. Hold it. Vegapunk would never intentionally design a dedicated killing machine. I know! So what if it was an ancient weapon? Assuming Imu has been living since ancient times, there is a connection. Robin told us that the ancient weapons do in fact exist. But if this person had such a weapon, why wait till now to use it? Oh my god, what is going on? What is going on? <sighs> Present day. The holy land of Marijuana. A celestial dragon has just. No! Sentenced to death. Is it Muir's God? Please don't tell me it's Muir's God. Has Muir's God just been sentenced to death? Our, suplute, our food supply is gone, eh? We have no bread! All we have is cake, eh? <laughs> nice. Um, let them eat cake. Let us eat cake. However, this information will never be reported to the outside world. That's... 
the judge was the former king of the land. What is going on in this chapter? What even is this freaking chapter? My brain is about to explode. What the frick is this chapter? What? What? The judge. What is going on? What is going on? The judge was the former king of the land known as God Valley. Dun 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 dun. Oh my goodness. Okay. What? He currently serves as the supreme commander of the gods. Knights. His... That's Shanks' dad. That is Shanks' daddy hero. That is Shanks' goddamn daddy. His name is St. Garling Figurland. <clears throat> what is going on? <sighs> what? His name is Saint Garling Figarland, the former king. I literally made a video about this as well, that that man we're seeing is Shanks' daddy. <laughs> and it's not time over. It's not game over for old men in the series yet. The man he sentenced to execution. None other than the one who chose to defend Fishman. Oh no. Oh no. Saint Don Quixote Mjorsgaard. Anyone who protects scum is lower than the scum they protect. A man who can even judge the celestial dragons. Dun 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 dun! Absolutely fucking insane.